Hi, Julie here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a data merge file using InDesign for name tags. The type of name tags we prefer to use is the Avery 5395 name badges, which will be the basis for my demo today. In order to use the data merge feature in InDesign, you need to create a comma separated values file, or also known as a .csv file using Microsoft Excel. I already have my .csv file open here, and as you can see, I have two columns for my first name and last name. Now I'm going to go ahead and close out my file, click Save, and then click Continue. And I'll go ahead and open up InDesign. Now I want to create a brand new document using Command N. And the first thing I want to do is turn off facing pages. And from my trials in printing name tags, I realized that I need to have specific margins in order for the name tags to print properly on the labels. So for my top margin, I need it to be 3P 4.5. My bottom needs to be 3P1. My left needs to be 3P5. And my right needs to be 2P9. I can go ahead and leave the bleed and slug area alone and click OK to create the document. Now the next thing I want to do is create my text box. And I want to make sure that it's sitting on the margin. I'm just going to click and drag any size right now. And now, because I need to have specific size for my name tags, I'm going to adjust the size of the text box. And again, from my experiments, I realize I need to have the width be 22p5, and the height needs to be 14p10.5 in order for it to print properly on each label. And I'll go ahead and hit return. Now that I have that done, I want to add some margins into the text box. So I'm going to go ahead and click Command-V to open up my text frame options. And under inset spacing, I'm just going to go ahead and add 2P3 just to give it some space. And I want to make sure that the link button is clicked so that all four sides are equal. And I'll go ahead and click OK. Now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and add some text into the text box. For now, I'm going to add the word lorem ipsum. And I actually want to return ipsum onto the second line. This, as our example, I'm going to have lorem be the first name and ipsum be the last name. And as you know, some people have very long names, so that's why I'm having it sit on two different lines. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of the text, and I actually want to increase the size to make sure that it's readable on the name tag. So for now, I'm going to make the size 28 points over 36. And I'll hit return. And I actually also want to have the type be centered into the text box. So I'm going to go ahead and center that. And I also want it to be centered within the text box. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my text frame options again using Command-B. And under Vertical Justification, where it says Align, I'm going to go ahead and click Center and hit OK. Now that that's complete, I can start the data merge process. In order to do that, I need to select my .csv file. I already have my data merge panel open. And in order to select the file, there's a little menu button here that you want to click. And then you select data source. From there, I'm going to select my .csv file. I'll just double click to open it. And as you can see here, it brings in first name and last name, which are my column names inside the .csv file. So if I double click lorem, I want that to be the first name. And then I'm going to double click ipsum, and I want that to be the last name. And now I can start the data merge. In order to do that, I need to click this little button here that's called Create Merge Document. It opens up a dialog box. Under Records to Merge, I want to make sure that all records is selected. Under Records per Document page, I want to make sure that says Multiple Records. And then I also want to click on the button Multiple Record Layout. And I want to make sure that the margins reflect what I created in my document. And as you can see, the margins are Correct. So now I can go ahead and start the data merge process by clicking OK. And as you can see, it says no overset text was generated when merging records. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And that basically means that none of my names overflowed in the text box. So there are no errors in the document. I want to actually open up our type ed template. 
And as you can see, we already have it stylized here. And it already has the date of merge information in there, first name and last name. So all I need to do is select my data merge file, which is uh, under select data source. And I'm going to select my CSV file. And now that that's selected and the information is already in there, I can go ahead and just start the data merge by clicking the Create Merge Document button. Again, I want to make sure all records are selected and multiple records is selected. And I want to double check my margins. And everything looks good. So I'll go ahead and click OK and start the data merge process. And there you go. You, you see it says no overset text was generated when merging records, so none of the names overflowed. So this is ready to be printed. Thank you so much.